welcome to all dear listener kingdom of god is a very important topic so we would like to invite you to join our devotion this year the concept of the kingdom of god is repeated throughout the bible this devotion was written by dr peter kamleshwar prasad singh we would be honored if this message was a blessing for you Meditation on the Kingdom of God, Day 16 God had planned every detail of the universe before He pronounced the creation in Genesis 1, 1. After making everything in the earth, after making everything in the heavens and the earth, He proclaimed the plan for making of man, saying, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, Let them have dominion over the fish of the seas, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Genesis 1, 26 The moment it was made manifest, the writer of Genesis was peeped into eternity for a moment and saw the completed man, male and female, in Genesis 1, 27. In time and space, Genesis 1, 26 is in the process of finishing up but not complete yet. It's in the process. I worked in a local sugar factory for many years. There they produced white sugar from sugar canes. It is a long and complicated process. The farmers grow sugar canes in their field. After harvesting, they sell it to the factory. There the process begins by thrashing the canes into fibers. Then it passes through a set of mills where every bit of juice is extracted. The dry fiber is called baguette, and it's used as fuel in the boiler. The juice goes to clarifiers. It is filtered with added chemicals and is boiled in the vacuum. Then it goes to crystallizers for crystallization, and it produces white crystalline sugar used as sweetener worldwide. It is the final product, made from, but very different to the sugar cane. We don't use sugar canes as sweeteners, but sugar we do. Sugar cane had to pass through the process to be produced as sugar. God planned to make man in his own image and likeness. He made Adam and Eve to start with. They were such an innocent being. Even a serpent could deceive them. The age of innocence ended with sin and death coming in the world. The process towards completion was started to be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.